أحمد أحمد لا والذي فطر السماء ما هم بأمة خير خلق الله بعد أن عندنا في طائفة كثيرة من الروايات أن الله أخذ يونس لأنه كان لديه شك في الولاية المراد من الولاية ليس مقام ولاية الروحانية وغيرها بل برتب مقام النورانية حبسه في الحوت ليخرجه أنا الذي حبست يونس في الحوت يعني وين نون هذا إلي اسم يعرف الإمام قال له ها سلم عليه بأمرة قال له سلفنا ليش انت ابتلعت يونس قال عرضت عليه ولاية ولايتكم ولاية علي بن ابي طالب فرفضها فكان حكمه ان يكون في بطني اذهبوا لزيارته وسلموا عليه لانه وهو في بطن الحوت صار يبكي على الحسين وجبرائيل يعلمه وانقذه الله ببكائه على الحسين لذلك قال سبحانك اني كنت من الظالمين فهذا مستوى كبير حبيب هذا مستوى عظيم اما لما يقولون شيء كالانبياء بالضبط حين واحد قد يستكثرها يقول ها كالانبياء نقول نعم النبي مبعوث من الله عز وجل الامام ايضا منصوب من الله عز وجل بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا سيدي برو حجي. I've just recently uh, posted uh, part two uh, as you obviously can uh, can tell. But this particular video is just a trailer uh, for up and coming series or for an up and coming series that uh, I'm going to do, which is basically called. Uh, Shia narrations degrading the prophets and statements from the ulama degrading prophethood in favor of wilaya. So you see in the upcoming series that is due to be released uh, how uh, Shia uh, narrations degrade prophethood, but the prophethood that they or the the, the, the the aspect of degrading is basically using wilaya as uh, and, and putting that principle or that belief as something that is superior to Nabuwa or prophethood. So that's something that will be coming out shortly. It's just a trailer. Uh, as you uh, have seen many clips that are put up, these are statements from the ulama highlighting narrations that I'm going to be quoting as you can see. All of these books and many more. These are just a taste that we have many many books to quote that you haven't seen yet. And this is something that you would, you would be made aware of. To the, to the masses of Ahl Sunnah, you will see how this principle of wilaya and imama has absolutely just basically taken them into a, a position of ghulu, of extremism, of, extravag of extravagant uh, praises of their imam or uh, imma and how they degrade the prophets and nabuwa in comparison to their imma. So, those clips that you you can see at the start uh, are basically summaries and re re repet uh, reputation of the narrations that I'm going to mention. So it's not something that Haji is just you know Haji says that she has believed this. I'm gonna highlight each quote that I'm going to bring in the future to obviously uh, coincide and connect with the statements of the ulama from Hadith. Uh, from Akwal of your ulama, and you will see how Wilaya and, uh, and, and, and Imama have basically uh, taken a foothold and, and, and in Shia belief have superseded Nabu, which they make no secret about, but we show you the degrading aspect of it as well. How Nabu and prophets are just basically submission, sub, submitting or submitted to Wilaya, and all of these you know, narrations that we're going to bring. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, this is what obviously is going to come in the future. Uh, it'll be different parts, or it'll be like short clips, but it's going to be a series called, uh, you know, obviously as I mentioned, Kola Afal and Imam Wan Hulayla Tawheed. But this is how this aspect where, you know, the Nabuwa, which is a high platform uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to his chosen prophets, uh, how this is taken a back seat and Hulayla and Imam have taken uh, center stage. So that's it. You watch out for it, follow me on YouTube, subscribe, Bro Haji, follow me on Facebook, 
and keeping the du'as and all the believers, uh, especially those who are blessed. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ashabihi wa mawala. Salaamu alayhi wa sallam. Salaamu alayhi wa sallam. Salaamu alayhi wa sallam. Salaamu alayhi wa sallam.